The man says he was driving along Mountain View Avenue when he noticed something strange about the activities taking place in the Pro Box. To protect his identity, we'll call him Melvin. Let me see the photo kick so I realize that I think I said they're not playing, they're not playing like yeah. But when I look now, he's resistant. I see he's a schoolgirl and the man, he glass tinted but you can't see through it. The man a jar back inside so the three ladies accompany me. I said, no, something is going on there, what is going on there? And they start to scream and I said, no, blue, blue. So the lady reach over and start pressing the hand, peep, peep, peep. He says the man who was the sole occupant of the taxi forced the child into the vehicle. He just jarred back in her foot and shitty, and instead of going down in that lane now, he pulled to the left, like nearer to the statue, and head up the road. So I just say, well, we are brave with him, I see him not gone, so we just drive out and start blow peep with him. Melvin says he drove down the Toyota Pro Box as it made several turns at high speed. He says when the car turned onto Tucker Avenue, he noticed the driver pushing the child from the vehicle before speeding off. But not before the rescuers recorded his license plate number. After he let her off, we turned immediately and stopped by her and said, you know that guy? He said, no, he's trying to rob my phone. And he, he said, so you get in the car and say, she stand up at the bus stop. I bus, she a wait for and he come down and stop and ask her if taxi and buy. She he just drive in the car and drive away with her. So, and wind up and lucky. So actually come there so now to a stop. Maybe she just use her head and pull the door, try to get out and then pull her back in. Melvin says he then took the child to the stadium police station. That girl supposed to about 13, just start high school. You can't see how she can she be. I'm just glad I did her to her, because I know so she didn't go. So I leave her at the stadium police station, and then say they more contact the parents and something. But even we frightened to see it, because we know a time ago, probably she just see her danger, just glance over her head right there. So. He explained why he dared to try and rescue the child. Because me have a daughter too, and when me see it, me realize, say, eh, it's not normal, like, you know, and to him drive off, you can't see, say, a kidnap. Stevie and Sapoton, for Nationwide News. Some wonderful viewers and my nice clean subscribing family definitely drop a prayer and comment down below. Covering the local girl right righteous, so me definitely know say God in the midst. Big up the taxi driver and the passenger them right there so we help and assist with the attempt abduction of right there. So people back to the news now. All of the information they are put making today news. A school girl reportedly gone missing in the vicinity of St. Andrew. Gunman and police reportedly exchanging bullets in the area of Mandeville. A gardener allegedly reportedly flee with a TV from an uptown apartment. A man reportedly shot and killed in the area of Kingston. So welcome to the Sky TV, my new viewers. How are you doing, my subscribing family? Definitely feel free to drop a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video so it can be promoted to more law-abiding citizens right across the beautiful country and the world itself. People, I'm here, the viral boss, and I always bring all of the latest information come right here, foot. But first and foremost, let me say a pleasant morning to you all, and I hope you guys and girls have a productive day in spite of everything that is reportedly taking place. So people, listen to what Alex reportedly have to say about gunman and police reportedly exchanging bullets in the area of Mandeville. The police are on the lookout for a group of men who they say engaged in a shootout with them along sections of Main Street, Mandeville in Manchester. Reports are sometime after 3 p.m. The police, acting on information that suspicious men were in a Toyota Axio motor car, attempted to intercept the vehicle when they fired at by the men in the car. The police returned fire and the vehicle sped away. It is not yet determined if anyone aboard the getaway car was injured. I was sitting in my van in the parking lot and closed my eyes for a minute because me tired. And all Isterut hearing was shots firing. By the time me look up me see a car a blaze gone and a bag of police in the areas, said an eyewitness who requested anonymity. The eyewitness said the police blocked off the area to retrieve a number of spent shells off the ground. Me glad nobody was hurt because a busy street this and anybody could get shot. I hope them catch the criminal too, the witness added. Alex sending you back over to the viral boss. Drop a comment down below. Definitely know say as time goes on, me have more information on the incident. So subscribe for future information right there. So people, this is my input on the whole entire situation. Me sorry the police, them name put up them boy, they pan ice, them cockroach. People moving on to the next topic. Now, listen to what Alex reported have to say about a schoolgirl reported a gun missing in the area of St. Andrew. An Oninda alert has been activated and a search is on for 17-year-old Tavia Anglin otherwise called Apple, of Robert Close, St. Andrew, who has been missing since Wednesday, March 9. She is of dark complexion, slim build, and is about 157 centimeters, 5 feet 2 inches, 
tall. Reports from the Halfway Tree Police are that about 7.15 a.m., Tavia was last seen on Hagley Park Road dressed in school uniform, blue skirt, white blouse, and black shoes. She has not been heard from since then. Anyone knowing the whereabouts of Tavia Anglin is asked to contact the Halfway Tree Police at 876-926-8184, the Police 119 emergency number, or the nearest police station. No photograph of Tavia Anglin was made available up to the time of this publication Alex sending you back over to the viral boss. Some wonderful viewers and my nice clean subscribing family may definitely ask for some public assistance right here. So one thing me ask you to do, I like the video so it can be promoted to more law abiding citizens right across the area of St. Andrew. So them can aware of what is really taking place in them area so them can help and assist right there. So, so people who moving on to the next topic now. Listen to what Alex reportedly have to say about a gardener allegedly reportedly caught fleeing with a TV from an uptown apartment. A gardener who is accused of breaking into an apartment building on Pines Boulevard, Karachi in St. Andrew on Thursday, March 10, is to appear in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Wednesday, March 23. The accused is 36-year-old Errol Michael, otherwise called Kevin, of Russo Road, Kingston 13. Reports from the Halfway Tree Police are that about 1 p.m., Michael was spotted inside an apartment. A security response team was alerted and Michael was allegedly intercepted while fleeing with a television set. He allegedly dropped the television set and ran, but was pursued and nabbed by the security officers. The police were alerted and the suspect was handed over to them. He was subsequently charged with the offenses of housebreaking, larceny and malicious destruction of property. Alex sending you back over to the viral boss. Some wonderful viewers and my nice clean subscribing family definitely drop a clean and a positive comment down below. Bigging up the police them right there so for them quick respond, for help and assist. Even though it's just a TV, more want to tell you so in spite of everything, indeed them definitely do a wonderful work. Because some thiefing boy right across the wonderful island don't even know how hard some people have to work to try to make ends meet. Just to even buy a TV right there so, so people who are moving on now. An incident reportedly took place in the area of Denantown, Kingston area, where a man said to be known as Curtis was reportedly shot and killed. Pam, pam, pam. The incident reportedly took place sometime yesterday evening, right there. So, you must know this far past epic. Definitely knows the police and go entirely investigation. So, as the day go on, definitely knows that any information developed upon social media. The viral boss have all of the latest info for bring coming right here for to make you exactly know what is really taking place. We're really informative, we're really engaging, we're right to the point, and we make you exactly know what is taking place. We don't make up no information right here. So, we tell it as it is. So, definitely. Definitely have a wonderful and a blessed and a progressive day. Anything you meant in your life, believe you me, say that again. So you have to stay in control of your life totally every day. Right there, so right there, so.